Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one I'll show you how to set and make a spring tower trap. So for this trap we only need four things. As you can see we only need a capsule or maybe even a test tube. You can see I've got this yellow one on the left. Next we have some rice and some yeast. Um, the yeast is just like regular baking yeast or like the stuff you find in the fridge and last of all some water it's really that simple only four things needed for it okay i guess i'll show you how to put it together so the first thing we want to do is undo the lid and then we're going to put in the yeast um, as you can see this is just a teaspoon um, it's really just what I've been going off. I've tried this a fair few times and about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon is really all you need. Um, so how this trap works is the spring towels are going to eat the mould that's going to grow in the rice um, and I've also heard that they are attracted to yeast. So we're just going to put in the rice here um, the mould will grow on the rice and the spring towels will go and eat it. Okay, so there is the yeast and the rice in the test tube. And then, last of all, I'm just going to add a couple squirts of water. Just a little. This will make the uh, mould grow on the rice really fast and, um, and that's about it. I'm not really sure if it will make the spring towels go to the yeast or not. But um, this seems to work really well. So the last and probably the hardest step of all is finding the right spot to put this trap in. So make two or three of these traps so you have a better chance of putting one in a spot where spring towels are found. So I'll show you how to do that next. Well, here I have my three springtail traps. Um, now, to set them, you want to find an area where there's going to be decomposing, like, plant matter. This is what the springtails will be eating in the wild. And, I, from my experience, is where you'll find the most of them. So, I'm going to take this trap here. And I'm going to put it under the this straw here just like just put it in like that it doesn't just uh, cover it up and make it dark and uh, you can see it's under there make it dark so that it will mold easier you'll get nice and warm under the straw and I'll put the other two in other similar places the second spot I'll be putting one of my traps is is in a compost heap there's obviously plenty of decaying matter here and will prove the ideal spot for a springtail trap. Just like the last one. Bury it. It's as easy as that. Last off, here's some old grass that's been cut and chucked here. It's already decaying. This is somewhere where springtails will be found. One thing I forgot to mention why we make so many traps is that sometimes uh, isopods and other similar insects are also attracted to them, these traps, and may eat a majority of the uh, concoction that's in here. So that's why we set so many, and hopefully some will have some uh, springtails in them. So now the only thing we need to do now is wait. I'll be checking on these traps in four days and so I'll probably post a update video on this in four or five days. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see it as soon as it comes out. Okay, so I hope you guys have learnt something today. If you have, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.